Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new car PM9 Covert. A first look video of this gun. I've been waiting for this since SHOT Show. They are just being released now and this is one of the first ones right here. The greatest advantage here, three finger contact on the grip and an additional round in the magazine. Seven round mags, the same mag that is in the P9, the K9, the S9 and the CW9 right here. So if you have those guns, all the mags are interchangeable. Even the larger size mags will fit in the car handguns. But here it is, same trigger pull, right around six and a half pounds, three finger contact, night sights, three inch barrel, and a rail. And they put the serial tag right here on the grip. So I'm very excited to have this. Now I've owned the PM9 for a while, one of the smallest, lightest, Handguns in today's market cars most popular model. It's a beautiful gun very smooth shooter matter of fact a year and a half ago I reviewed a, a, a car PM9 that was eight years old at the time it had over 40,000 rounds through it more like 43 44 but the guy who owned it said he stopped counting and And that speaks to the longevity of the car handgun They're They're made extremely tough very very tough and this PM9 has not let me down yet. Now, I absolutely love the Car P9. This has the same seven round magazine. It also has night sights, three and a half inch barrel, all bar stock steel parts, all right? Polygonal rifling in the barrel. And, and all in all, a very comfortable shooter. All these very lightweight, compact handguns with a six and a half pound trigger pull. And then the reset is right there. If you took the greatest advantages of both of these guns and combined them into one, all right, you would have the car BM9 Covert with the three inch barrel, but the longer grip and a three finger contact. Now there are two other things about this gun that I find amazing. I'm going to share with you, but before we do that, let's do a size comparison. The slides are the exact same, all right? I took them off, I put them on each other's frames. They work, they're the exact same. The grip, a little bit different, but let's do it this way, okay? I think I showed all these clear. Let's drop the mags and take a look at the difference here. All right, you can see the serial tag on, this one is on the dust cover. All right, so here we have the only difference that you're going to see is right there. Probably a quarter of an inch. So if you love the size and weight of the car PM9, this PM9 Covert is just, just like that much longer on the grip. But this is one of the things. I told you there are two. I want to show you two things. But here is one of the things. Let's take the 7 round magazine. All right. Car PM9 Covert. We got seven rounds in here. We'll move it just to ounces. And it is weighing in at 20 ounces. Let's take a self-defense load, because we always carry one in the chamber, 20 and a half ounces. Now that is very light, extremely light. Now let's do the same. That's with eight rounds now, 20 and a half ounces. Here we have the PM9. Here's six rounds. And then we're going to take this carry around 20 and 1 8 ounces so they are essentially the same weight even though this has the longer grip and the extra round that had so if we put an extra round here all right 20 and a half ounces so both of these guns with eight rounds are the exact same weight i i think that's pretty incredible i really do you would think the the covert would be a little heavier it's really not you can see that it has the same grip all right, and we look over here, same grip, very comfortable, and I, you know, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm very excited about it. Now, the, the PM series has a lifetime warranty, but let's get to the second thing. Now, that was a loaded mag, so I'm going to go ahead and show clear again. All right, this is what I find just as amazing as the weight. Check this out. Now, every car handgun I've ever owned, the, they, they, they ship very tight, right out of the box, very tight, but... I've always had to use something to punch that slide stop pin through. I've always needed something, but check this out. All right. 
give a little push through, out comes the pin. Pull the trigger, disassembles the gun. Now, if we look at the frame, many people have this wrong. And they say, well, those, you know, the slide rides on the polymer rails. That's false. Okay, I explained this before. I'll explain it really quickly. There is more metal in here than a Glock. All right, you can see metal there, metal inserts all throughout. The polymer rails, that's just for the reassemble process. If, if, if I cut those off right now, this gun would still function just fine. Same uncaptured uh, guide rod, or I'm sorry, uh, recoil spring and all steel guide rod. Okay, dual, dual. And then here we have the three inch barrel and there it is. There's your slide and it's the exact same thing. So I thought, you know, if, if for some reason this didn't have the, the night sights, I could swap out the slide and do that. No reason. No reason at all for that. Spring is tight. You know, the one greatest advantage of a tight spring that the car has is the low recoil. Low recoil with that spring. All right, so when you assemble it, put the pin in first and then move it back just like that. And you are good to go. So there it is, Car PM9 Covert. It's a first look. It has the seven round magazine, so you're getting that additional round, more comfort on it, but still the same weight as the Car PM9. How Car pulled that one off, I'll never know, but I'm certainly excited to have this. It's a sharp gun. I can't wait to get this to the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.